familiarization of Visual C Sharp .NET environment. Select New Project from File Menu. Select Visual C Sharp Projects. Select Windows Application. Type the project name. Select a location to save your project. You can drag and drop the controls from toolbox to design your form. The properties of the selected item. Windows Phone Designer Generated Codes Code created by the Windows Phone Designer for the text box Code created by the Windows Phone Designer for the button Double click on the button to add the button event. The code for displaying the message box. Compile the solution. The build results are displayed in the build window. Execute the solution. The output is displayed automatically on execution. The background color of the selected item. The foreground color of the selected item. The Start Position option of the phone is displayed. The Initial Window State option is displayed.
The assembly information of the project is displayed. Assemblies Assemblies form the fundamental unit of deployment, version control, reuse, and activation scoping and security permissions for a .NET-based application. Assemblies take the form of an executable file or dynamic link library file and of the building blocks of the .NET framework. The members of the selected namespace are displayed. Brief description about the selected item. Reference. Reference is a container of namespaces. Namespaces are the way the .NET avoids name clashes between classes. They are designed, for example to avoid the situation in which you define a class to present a customer and call your class customer and someone else does the same thing. The system namespace is the root namespace for fundamental types in the .NET. Right click to add a new reference. You can set references to ActiveX objects, so that you can add them programmatically to your application. Right click to add a new item. Right click on the class to add a method, property etc.
Close the solution. Select the solution, the file with .slm extension. Drag and drop the project solution. Select New Project from File Menu. Select Set as Startup Project. Select Remove to delete the selected project. Start the execution in debug mode. The step over executes the entire function and then halts at the first line outside the function. You step out when you are inside a function call and want to return to the calling function. Terminating the program you are debugging and ending the debugging session. Select Visual Basic Projects. Select the application type.
Select Set as Startup Project. Select Remove to delete the project from the solution.